Hello, and welcome back to the Calculator Review, hosted on Caliquin.com. Today, I'm reviewing the Jot Scientific Calculator. This can be found at a dollar store for approximately one dollar. Um, so, I actually bought two of these by accident. One of them was mailed to me. Uh, in a lot of calculators that I ordered on eBay. So that's this one. So it's identical. Um, I'm actually kind of glad that I found it at, uh, at the dollar store because otherwise I wouldn't know what company made this. Uh, so this is from Jot. They make uh, a lot of school supplies. They have a couple different types of calculators, all of which I've got. Or at least I've got uh, three of them, including this one. Uh, it's it's a small calculator and it's a scientific 10 digits and honestly for a dollar you really can't go wrong with this thing it's it's solid uh, it's got great feel as far as all the buttons go uh, the memory functions work great all the buttons are extremely responsive uh, it's got a, it's got a nice weight to it it's a nice size it feels good in the palm of the hand and it, it's definitely one worth checking out I was honestly surprised that I liked it as much as I do. So it does not, or it does have a few issues. It's not completely flawless, and its biggest issue is this. It's uh, it's got this protective cover that is honestly just com it, it's fine for when it's actually being used as protection. Like, it's not going to fall out even with some vigorous shaking. The problem comes in. And you just have it on the back. Now I know this isn't a huge deal, but you know, it, it, was, it was something they could have fixed really easily. To, you know, a, a minor design change, and they wouldn't have this problem. But like I said, it just falls out. Uh, it barely holds in there at all. Uh, I've seen other calculators that have oops, sorry that'll have flip covers, and those are really nice. So there's very little chance of actually losing this thing. And it's unfortunate because, you know, this could have been a very a solid calculator for a dollar. I mean, you honestly can't go wrong with that. So, uh, another flaw is it doesn't run on solar power. And I find that really, really odd. I mean, I found other dollar calculators that also run on solar. Um, of course, I have mentioned the issue before of the uh, the fake solar panels. So at least you know you're getting what you're getting here. Uh, there's no there's no false advertisement potential at all. But with it running on batteries, what really bugs me is you'll see how many screws hold this thing together. So in order to change those batteries, you've got to remove every single screw. There's not a simple panel you can just pop off. And again, it's, it, these are really minor things, but they should have been addressed when this was designed. I mean, even for a dollar, these th these things don't cost extra money to do. You know, a, a little little panel on the back isn't going to add anything to the cost of this thing. So. So odd design choices, but other than that, like if you just need something to get you through a school day, it's perfect. Um, oh, one of the other things I like is it automatically, or you can actually set it to, uh, oops, <laughs> so automatically deals with uh, floating point decimals, which I really like. I don't see that too often. It's a nice feature. Uh, yeah, switching it over to uh, times 10 to the 10th, or times 1 to the 10th, whatever it is. That's easy to do. Everything is really easy, easy to access. Buttons are in a great place. I, I really don't have a lot of complaints. Uh, like I said, I was expecting a lot worse with this calculator. But it's solid, and I highly recommend it. Um, the only thing I don't recommend it for is long-term use. If you plan on using this for days at a time, replacing that battery is going to be a huge pain. So I would go with a solar calculator before I go with this. You're going to pay a bit extra for it, but 
you get what you pay for. But other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this calculator review, and I'll see you tomorrow.